welcome back to my channel my name is desire if you're new here in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can safely download custom content and avoid viruses um because i noticed a lot of people lately the ad fly thing has been a well it's been an issue for a while now but um i guess something must have happened lately because i noticed it's been talking about a lot on like twitter and tumblr and stuff so i'm just going to show you ways that you can actually bypass ad fly or clickish or any of those weird little pay sites that people use and um before i go further and i know like i just want to say this because there are probably going to be some people who are going to be upset that you know i'm calling out you know this bullshit as um paywall stuff you know so i just want to let you guys know that it is actually against ea's term of um service to permanently keep stuff behind paywalls like um here's one of the sim gurus right here they this is said back in 2017 it says Creators cannot lock content they make using our game behind a paywall. While we do not police this content, there's no way we can create a team simply to monitor this. We do take reports sent to us seriously and action and take action accordingly. And then he said, people that use Patreon, that's fine. It says, folks who have a Patreon page are welcome to provide folks with early access and census for their content, but it should be made available to the general public within two to three weeks of it being given to folks early. And this has been posted it's, it's been said in other places too as well but this right here is from someone who actually works for the game and it's end of terms of service somewhere you know people obviously don't read but you know it's fine if you want to use a paywall just know that you're supposed to eventually release it for free and um even kate who um community manager for the sims up until a little while ago they resigned um so kate said right here Additionally, it is against EA's policy to permanently hide content behind a paywall. And yes, ad fly counts as a paywall. Okay, so I just want to get that out of the way and let you guys know. So, you know, don't feel bad for, you know, using these shortcuts to, you know, go around these paywalls because people aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. So anyway, what you're going to do is if you have Chrome and it works in, um, they have these plugins for Firefox as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the extensions page, you know, the web store if you're in Chrome. And the first thing you're going to download is, it's called Adblock. And I think most people know about this one, but, um, and it's this one right here. Yes, this one. So get Adblock. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. So we're going to go ahead and add this to Chrome. And I'm going to show you the settings you're going to want to have because when you first install it, they do have something enabled on it called Enable Acceptable Ads. And what it does is it lets ads they believe are reputable websites um it lets them you know enable ads on like i think it, if you leave it on it leaves like youtube ads on or something like that but i'm going to show you how to like disable all ads so just gonna wait for this to install and you're gonna go right here and by the way um it's free all both of the plugins i'm going to show you are free if you want to donate to them you know you can by the way this video is not sponsored by them or anything or anyone um this is just just me doing this video um, so it looks like it's our is not enabled, but um, see, this allows some intrusive advertising. So you want to turn it off if you don't, if you don't want to see any ads anywhere at all. So I have that off. The next plugin you're going to go install, and this one is also available in Firefox, is called Universal Bypass. And this is it right here. And you're going to add this to Chrome as well. So what this does is any like link shortener like ad fly um clickish i don't know any others any little ad thing that like any little thing like that it passes it now every once in a while it'll still show me an ad fly page and it'll be like an ad fly page that says wait five seconds don't click um and it'll, it'll, it'll just say wait five seconds but then there's nothing on the page because i have ad block installed so it's like i still don't see any ads but sometimes i have to do that five second wait and i don't know why that happens but it happens but you know it's it's pretty safe because there's nothing on the page because all everything is blocked because it's ad block so now that we have universal bypass installed what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to a um a cc creator who i know uses a paywall um ad block and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna blur out everything because I don't want, you know, this person to think I'm specific, to, <laughs> specifically calling them out because I don't want anyone to feel like I'm attacking them or whatnot. So, um, let me do that real quick. I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so I had to go on Tumblr and find someone's link. So this one said it uses some kind of shortener called short S or something. So we're gonna, let's type this in. And it's gonna run the URL. 
All right, so if you see that virus total ran the URL and it came back and said it detected something malicious within this link. So yeah, these 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 websites are bad. They get people viruses. So now I'm gonna go back to the person's page and we're gonna click on the link. All right, so you saw what ha the little thing popped up with the shortener and now it says you might not have to wait. Other universal bypass users already reported and said that this leads to this SIM file share link. Now, sometimes it'll just go straight to the the download page, and sometimes it'll show you this um this screen right here. So now you can safely click on that, and then now you see that here is the download page for the CC. And I'm gonna go ahead and click it for you and show you guys. Oh, yeah, it does automatic. I gotta click this. But anyway, yeah, it, it did this right here. So it downloaded. And if you guys want to um. You can cl right click this and watch how when you put this into virus total and it's going to come back and say that um, this C look, says this is a malicious, but that other link definitely was malicious. So um, I hope this video wasn't super long. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to use AdFly along with the Universal Bypass plugin to safely navigate these little, you know, paywall ad thing, shortener, whatchamacallit. Anyway. Because people are people have been people are reporting that they're getting viruses and stuff. It's sometimes they you click people are clicking on it and it's showing them porn images and stuff that they just don't want to see. It, it's ridiculous and it's like you know, you know, be mindful of where you're linking people to. You know, and you know, there's nothing wrong with you know if you want to charge people for your CC. Um, just give people options. You know, put it on Patreon, let people pay for it that way, or ask for a donation. Because nine times out of ten, if I like your work, I'm probably gonna send you a donation. But if you're hiding it behind, you know, these this ad fly shit, you know, I don't want to support you because you're out here willfully giving people viruses for a few cents per clicks and stuff. You know. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention this. Um, another thing that I do after I download my CC. Um, I put everything in, you know, a folder in my downloads folder. And what I do is I right click and I do scan with uh, Windows Defender. That's one of the built-in um, antiviruses that that's in Windows. Um, I know it's in Windows 10. I don't know about. I think it's in Windows 7. Yeah, it's in Windows 7 and Windows 10. I don't know about any other versions. But I click that, and you know, it, it'll tell me if there's anything, you know, going on with the files and stuff. And then also, um, the other program that I really love is Malwarebytes. It's free. The free version is just as good as the paid version. The only difference is if you want to pay for it, you know, they have like real time protection where like, you know, I, I told you like when I clicked on the AdFly link, a little pop up in the corner popped up and it said, hey, this site is malicious and stuff. So if you don't have the paid version, you know, um, I guess, you know, that won't happen because you don't have real time protection. But, you know, as long as you have that universal bypass plugin, you're good to go. So I just have the free version, and so what I do is I just, I'm not gonna click it because it, take, it takes a while to run, but you know, you, can, you just select all your items and right click scan with malware bytes, and uh, what's gonna happen is it's just gonna run everything, and it'll be like, at the end it'll be like, no threats like this right here. It says no current threats, and it'll just say no threats are found. So yeah, so um, use, use uh, Windows Defender app in, to check your files after you download them, and also go download malware bytes, and also use that to check your files. So anyway, this is the end of the video. If you find it helpful, you know, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You know, let your friends know that, hey, stop clicking those ad file links if you don't have ad block and you're using Verso, buy a plastic plugin. Because, you know, you know, I don't want y'all out here getting viruses and stuff. You know, these hackers out here trying to steal your bank information and stuff. That ain't cool. So anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Run and go download these plugins. You need them. Um, if you want to subscribe, you don't have to. It's really appreciated. I have more Sims content coming out. I'm working on some more builds and I have some machinimas coming out that I have been working on for the longest. My computer was just in the shop for like three weeks because, so you know, Best Buy had to fix it and whatnot. So I just got it back. So, you know, it's, that's why I'm so behind on uploading and stuff. And I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to put out this video and another video this week. So, you know, if you want to stick around, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. But, um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye.